Hello all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chandramani Pandey and thank you very much for watching my other videos. In today's video, I will show you how we can install Microsoft Intune connector for Active Directory to perform the offline domain join. If you are using hybrid Azure Ready join autopilot, then we have to install the new Intune connector for Active Directory and there are some prerequisites to install that connector. So let's see how we can install the Intune connector for Active Directory. But before we begin, if you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And also don't forget to like, share and leave your feedback in the comment section. So right now I am on my server on which I want to install the Intune connector and on this server let me show you if I am opening CMD and type who am I you can see that I am using T2 account to configure the Intune connector and if I am typing who am I slash UPN you can see that I am using an enter account. Basically, it's an on-prem account synced to the cloud via enter connect. And if you go to the Intune portal and go to the users, we can see that I already assigned the Intune admin role. And if you go to the licenses, we have Microsoft 365 E5 license. So we may need to make sure that the account should have the Intune admin rights and they should have the Intune license assigned. And now we have to ensure that the .NET version is greater than 4.7.2 and the server forest functional level is greater than 2000 or R2. And we also need to ensure that the T2 account is all, also a part of local admin. So let me open the server manager. And then go to the tools and that we have to go to the computer management. And within that we have to go to the local users and groups and within groups we have to go to the administrator. And here we have to add the T2 account. Click on OK and click on apply. And now we also need to install the Microsoft Edge web view to run time install. So let me install this. I have already downloaded the offline setup file. This is very important. Otherwise you will not get the sign in screen. And now we have to download the ODJ connector. So let's go to the Intune portal. Go to the all devices. And within that you have to go to the enrollments. And then you have to go right down. And then you have an option called Intune Connector for Active Directory. Click on that. You can see that I have tried multiple times and uninstalled the connectors. This one is showing active. After some time, it is automatically showing as inactive or showing error because we already uninstalled the connector from the server. Now we have to click on Add and we have to click on the Download the On Premises Connector for Active Directory and we will start downloading the connector. So before installing the ODJ connector, we have to configure some settings on the domain controller. So let's go to the domain controller and configure those settings. So now I am on my domain controller and let me open the Active Directory Users and Computers. And then we have to create a OU. So let me create a new OU called Autopilot and click on OK. And then we can see that we have a Manage Service account. And within that we are not able to see any account. And then we have to open the ADSI edit. So let me open this. And within 
KDSI edit, we have to expand this and on the manage service account, we have to go to the properties and here in the security, we have to go to the advance and then we have to click on add and then in the principal, we have to select the account. So I am using T2 account to install the OTG connector. So let me search T2 and check for name. Click on OK. And now here we have to make sure that this account have permission to create MSDS manage service account object. So we can see that create MSDS manage service account object and go down and click on OK. And then click on apply. And now we can see that T2 account have permission to create MSDS manage service account object and click on apply and click on OK and click on apply and click on OK. Now we have provided T2 account to create MSDS manage service account object. Now after some time when we are installing the OTJ connector, we are able to see an account automatically created called manage service account and then it will automatically manage the password of, for that account. So let me go back to the server on which I want to install the connector. It's, and now on that server, we have to start installing the OTJ connector. So let me click on that and click on agree. Click on install. Click on yes. And now before that, let me open the services and if you refresh the service, you can see that the, we have a service called Intune OTJ connector and that is running under the anti-authority system. So let me go here and click on configure and click on yes. And then we have to sign in on this. Now here we can see that we are getting an error called Microsoft Edge cannot read or write to its data directory so to fix that issue what we have to do we have to go to the c drive and then we have to go to the program files and here we have a folder called microsoft intune and then we have to click on the odj connector enrollment wizard click right click on this go to the properties and here under the security and here you have to click on edit and then you have to uh, account. So I am using T2 account. So I am going to add T2 account and click on OK. And then now I am going to provide the full permission and click on apply and click on OK and click on OK. Now minimize this and let's open the connector again and then click on sign in. Now this time we are not getting any error and then we have to provide the account to which you want to install the connector. And now we can see that the Intune Connector Active Directory installed successfully. Click on OK and we have to wait for some more time and it will automatically configure the MSA account. We can see that the MSA account was successfully set up. Click on OK. And now if you go to the services and refresh the service, now we can see that the Intune ODJ connector service is running under this account. And if you go to the domain controller and refresh the MSA account, click on here. And now we can see that Automatically, a uh, managed service account is also created here under the managed service account. And now again, go back to the server where we install the connector. And then we have to provide the OU on which we want to join this device. So for that, you have to go to the C drive, go to the program file. You have to go to the Microsoft Intune under the ODJ connector. We have to go to the OTJ connector enrollment wizard and then you have to go down and here we can see a configuration file. So we have to copy this configuration file 
we have to paste it on the desktop and then we have to open this configuration file in notepad and if you go down in the last we can see that the organizational units used for offline domain join in the value we have to provide the OU in which you want to join the device so let me go to the domain controller and copy the OU location and again we have to go to the active directory user set computers and then expand this and now here we have to go to the autopilot OU right click and go to the properties and then we have an option called attribute editor if you are not able to see the attribute editor then you have to enable the advanced option and then you have to click on distinguished name and click on view and just copy this distinguished name and paste it here and click on save and now close it now what you have to do you have to replace this file with this file so let me replace the file with the destination file and now let's validate whether the file is replaced successfully or not let me find this file open again in the notepad and now we can see that we have the OU information here and uh, now we have successfully configured the ODJ connector and now we can see that we have two more active connectors so basically whenever we are updating the connectors or it is changing the MSA account it will automatically create a new connector name here and after some time we will see that only one connector will be active and other connectors status will be changed from active to adder and we can also see the event viewer blocks if we go to the applications and services and go to the Microsoft and then you can you can see the Intune folder and here you have an Intune connector service and within admin we can see if there is any request coming in for autopilot we can see that there is an event for 30120 successfully downloading the ODJ blob and we can also see some of the information here like your Intune connector is healthy if there is any issue you can track down the error in this event viewer logs so that's all I want to show you how you can install and configure the Intune connector for Active Directory to perform the offline domain join during autopilot I hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video